Hello everybody, and we're looking at a bunch of trees, I guess. Welcome back to another Age of the Ring cast. Dude, I've just been flooded with casts, and they've all been pretty damn good. I'm I'm quite happy with the consistency we're getting. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys aren't bored of these yet. Uh, we've got a lot, and yeah, they've been good. Anyway, we're on Tarnost. Um, quite a small 2v2, a bit like Buckland in that regard. Let's go top to bottom, shall we? We've got a Misty Mountains. We've got, oh, that's the Violator Boy again. Dude, this guy's just come out of nowhere. I don't even know what he sounds like, or who he is, or who he bangs, but he, he likes to violate souls, apparently. And another error ball, and it's Pumba again. Last time we saw Pumba, he, like... I don't even think he was conscious for what he was doing um, last game. It didn't go that well, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, facing them today is a Mordor. Durin. As, what, what, what the, he keeps getting the evil factions. His name's Durin. Game, take a hint. God damn it. And we have a Rivendell, Potatoes. Oh, it's these guys. Maybe they're friends. Maybe people actually have friends. Maybe it's Rude Devil. Maybe you're the one who's all alone. What the hell's that about? Um, but yeah, we've seen these guys again. And it, it was it was a bit of a... It was a bit of a... I was going to say meme fest, but I think it's more accurate to say cringe fest. So let's just go with that. So it's the, it's the rematch. Um, they were the ones from uh, that snow map, uh, if you couldn't remember. Uh, judging by my description, I couldn't remember either. But that's the way it is. So... He's going with a bounder, which, I swear to fucking god, potatoes, if you make these bounders and you don't attack the enemy base and you send them into walks for whatever fucking reason, I might just be done. He's queued up too, in fact, and he's, he's having a little party. Okay, okay, he's got, he's got, you know what, we're going to Riverdale cam. There it is, okay. Let's see what we got here. Mountain Orc start, again, from Soul Violator. He's going with the spears. Recruitment time on that actually seems pretty quick, but he's obviously just going to creep the walls, get some extra cash. And an Erebor assembly. Men of Dale start for uh, Pumba. And they double uh, racks for Mordor. That's pretty fucking standard, I'd say. It must be annoying, like... Age of the Ring is balanced most for 1v1s, and yet everyone plays team games. It must be like, what the fuck? God damn it! It'd be weird if there was, like, a, a separate patch to, like, balance, like, 4v4s or whatever. But honestly, like... It's kind of hard to balance it when you get that many people into a game, so I think it's fine the way it is. Anyway, they crept that. Even orcs can uh, skewer a walk. For the love of God, what did I just fucking say? Okay, okay. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. And that orc... Oh my god. Okay, well, he's actually attacking. They'll get, like, momentary stealth going through those trees. Um, but the orcs are still chasing. And Pumba has actually built in his teammate's base. If you're going to do friendly mines, try not to take up that much space of their base. <laughs> anyway, I think it's going to go down. He does have people in the mines. Oh, no, they left. You guys got bounders hitting both sides. Okay. Look at these bounders. They hit so freaking hard to resource. I think it's their clubs they wield. There we go. And they're so fast as well. They're like the perfect harass. They're so fast. They're like uh, the, the uh, good version of a wildman. Except they're properly dressed and they're probably bathed. Anyway, those, go, those ones get caught out and get uh, crushed. And these ones are just going to continue to be an annoyance. And uh, pretty good creeping there by uh, Pumba. Managed to get the cave troll and all the money. He can now get the signal fire. Is there going to be a third barracks? What's being built here? Troll cage. Oh, okay. I see. All right. So he might go like mass orc archers. That's actually a good strat. Orc archers are really strong on mass anyway. And, yeah, he got a few resource buildings, and he's just, you know, being an annoying little shit. So, win-win. If he just continued to run away, it does require micro, obviously. But, uh, yeah, he could have could have just kept going there. Anyway, Mordor are moving. Oh, no, hold on. This was a war glare. The cave troll layers are at the top. Okay, yeah, never mind. I didn't say anything. We're, we're good, we're good. Okay, the orcs are going in. I feel like it's so hard to uh, cheese the cave troll layers in Age of the Ring. I don't know why. I think if you, I think the best way to do it is to make like one of the Hobbit heroes and just kite it that way. Anyway, I was I was praising the Orc archers and look at them. The binding phalanxes are the cheapest ones they get, but they still uh, got cut down pretty quickly though. Anyway, a forge on the front line. I swear that's Pumba's calling card. Every fucking time with this goddamn forge on the front line. <laughs> and what's he doing here? A heroic statue, I bet. All right, here we go. All right, being. Uh, Warglad being crept there. More bounders. A bit of a shaky start. He's upgrading. He's going to get the 650 for the uh, Wolf Riders. We saw how effective they were last time. 
And Pumba is about to lose his second mine shaft, and it's not even in his fucking base. In fact, he might save it, maybe? No, they're on aggressive stance. I reckon they'll get it. Okay, they'll get it. Men of Dale doing the attacking on the opposite side. But there's enough orc archers here. I wonder if he'll go for Roak or uh, Arker again, and maybe get the Cav summon. That could be really good. Anyway, uh, it's important to get these signal fires for obvious reasons. I think he meant to, but they were just sort of uh, admiring it. And I like the little micro here. He flanked them around so they can't escape back to their base. I do like that. And I think Mordor get Corsairs from the inn who are uh, not too bad themselves actually in Age of the Ring. So hopefully we can see some of them. And these Brelanders get fucked up. So the banner carriers carry swords. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, so Drama Troll. If he keeps this on hold ground stance and just remembers not to charge it in, then uh, these orc archers should get pretty good value. Anyway, third mine going up in his teammate's base. <laughs> if you put it like here facing this way, it would be kind of funny. Because that way the bounders wouldn't be able to get behind it. Alright, we got some guardians coming out. Some actual dwarves now. I don't see a hero yet. They're pretty easy to spot on the minimap. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if he meant to have such pro placement here, but the heroic statue is just outside vision range. So it's possible that Pote or that Durin doesn't fucking know that there's a heroic statue there. Um, so the drummer, the drummer inspire fear will do nothing uh, if they're in range of that. And uh, if he can get some men of Dale archers there and a tower, then that'd be really strong. Okay, Mr. Mountain's moving south. Plenty of mountain orcs. With some war riders, I like it. The war riders are going to do well. Early Rivendell for fucking potatoes. He's got three Rivendell. Not sure how he financed that. He also has Duna Nine Outriders. He's also got the library, which I think you get the library for free when you make Elrond now. But I mean, who's going to make who's going to make Elrond before a library? But yeah, whatever. Anyway, not much those wolf riders can do against those uh, Noldor spearmen. Their ability has been activated to get bonus damage. But their animation seems to be a little... little scuffed at the moment. I'm not sure why they're not really attacking there. That was, that was kind of bizarre. But hold on, how much are these guys? 800. Even if he did creep the... Uh, even if he did creep the uh, cave troll layer, it's still kind of strange he did that. Anyway, heroic statue about to fall. It's got the buff on it. Is Chad Hod in there? Well, that's one. There's Chad Hod. He's is there. He's level three. He does buff your structures. He actually can give at level eight. He can give your guardian siege hammers, which is actually pretty cool. And it seems a lot of these also got cut down, and one of the cave trolls went down. Chad Hod does amazing damage to structures. He should be taking that down. Dude, he could just fucking go, actually. Chad Hod, with the level 3 sabotage, could insta-kill this building. And then with his level 1, could uh, weaken another one. Oh, there's action all over the place. I think this was a bit too early for Noldor to commit. Needs to be careful with his Dune Knight Outriders. Because, like, this is a lot of money. And they don't even have their heavy armor yet, so they are vulnerable to range. And there are all two groups of enemies, so I think this might be a bit of a... Bit of a misplay by uh, Potatoes. The worst thing you can do after rushing out Noldor is then to lose them. They do get away though. Level 3 intact. And I don't think 3 Outriders can get an XD. Yeah, okay. That, that's, a, that's a builder too far for these boys. What the fuck? Where did all that damage come from? Okay. Damage just came out of fucking Noah, but alright. Literally alright. I would be fucking pissed if I was Misty Mountains right about now. Like, what the hell? It was like a few love taps, and they like barely took any damage. Suddenly runs away and then just dies. Literally died a heat stroke. Okay, here we go. <gasps> here comes a tier two send in the goats. Perfectly played. They were buffed by the uh, troll, so they're actually not going to die. Mouth of Sauron's here, but he's charging into pikes. Needs to dismount or get the fuck out. Sabotage comes in there. Does half health to the uh, fort. Hadhod is hitting it. They're all Black Uruks now. There's the Fell Wind to just sort of keep him off his back. The Black Uruks is, are actually going to just destroy these Guardians. He needs to put them in hold ground. They are in hold ground. Well done. Okay, what ability do he have left? He has level 1, Keen Eye. Almost tier 2 for Rivendell. If he went with Heal, he'll get um, many meetings, I think. 
And he missed some of his dwarves with that. And they're actually frightened by something, which is strange. Anyway, uh, dismounted Mouth of Sauron versus Hadhod. There goes Keen Eye. Somebody! And there's no pike, so this drummer troll is actually going to get a lot of value. Okay, Dwarven Archers. They should have come out in the beginning because they will just wreck these guys. Never mind, who needs ar who needs archers when you've got an air wagon? And... Wait, where did Hadhod go? There he is. Okay, he's literally... Everyone is just ignoring Hadhod. Rivendell... Rivendell, uh... Swordsman with that beautiful heavy armor. The best model in the game, in my opinion. And... Hadhod is like, yo, let me just... Let me just destroy this and then get the fuck out. See ya! <laughs> oh my god, that was a level 2 Orc Barracks. That was where he's getting the Black Orcs from. That was actual value. <gasps> an XD for an XD. A favor for a favor. Oh my god, I think he's gonna get him. The Jumbo Troll is the only... Oh, the Jumbo Troll couldn't save it. And the Battle Wagon and Hadhod's going in! Hey yo, Durin. I don't know what the hell you've been doing, but fuck... <laughs> that... Oh my god, this is so stupid! Gloin's literally just chilling like, ah, uh, look at Hadhod go on one of his other drunken tangents. Okay, the XD managed to survive. Battle Wagon, uh, still only level 1. All the Orc Barracks are gone, there were two there. Literally, both of them taken out by Dwarf Too Angry to Die. And he's gonna take the Eastling encampment out as well. He's levels. I know there's combat going on here, but I don't care. We are watching this because I want to see how far he's gonna get. And then he lets him. Oh my. Okay, I'm done. We're fuck. We're out of here. Okay. Let's see. We got heavy armor. Maybe Rivendell can pull it back because what can, what can goblins do against such reckless hate? Level five. They've got the elven healing. The, he's remembering to pop the passive, which I like. He needs to remember to get his tier two. He seems to have put spears on his uh, rangers, which I think was like a panic counter to those wolf riders. And I think he's actually gonna fucking get it. Mouth the Saren came out, ignored a lot of- He was running away from some guardians, which is when I last heard. He's now level 5. And I think not even- Oh, actually, he does have sabotage. Okay, yeah, nah. Let's not waste it. One more level. And he'll be able to give his guardian siege hammers. Please let there be siege hammers. Um, what's he got? He needs to send these reserves in to make sure Hadhod gets out uh, alive. Because at the moment, he's uh, going to... You know what? That's value. He died. It was maybe avoidable, but that's still epic value. That was unbelievable. And I don't know what Durin was doing. I think he was like daydreaming. Or maybe because he's Durin, he's like, you know what? I'm going to sanction this. I'm going to let this happen. So that was a lot of money down the drain. Let's check Mordor Eco now. He's almost at tier 2. He could get Slaves of Nern. He's got a thousand. He does have his troll cage back up and he does have two lumber mills. Maybe make a third lumber mill. And uh, yeah, that was just unfortunate. He had so many Black Orcs. They managed to die. Wait, what the fuck? That's where his Eco was good beforehand. I cannot wait for the new uh, Witch King model to come in. I never really noticed how weird it was, but yeah. Yeah, I guess it irritated them too, because he is getting a new model. But he's went for a Witch King. Mortal will not go quietly. Alright. And I'm very impressed with this guy. Let, do, does he have Revenants of Yavanna? No. I have a coffee here. I'm going to quickly drink it before it goes cold. Uh, you can stare at the beautiful Rivendell buildings. I took a big gulp and it's fucking cold. God damn it. Mmm. Alright. We're back. Coffee break over. Just in time for another. Ooh, with the Dwarven Battering Rams. Here we go. <gasps> and a Gimli. Alright, you make, um... You make, uh, Witch King? Well, we'll make a Gimli. Felwind got zero value there. Just slightly missed time, but that's okay. That's, it, it do be like that sometimes. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He's seen the Witch King. And he, I think he's fucking bailing. A giant bat comes in. Okay, that's actually a decent support unit in a 2v2. I don't think you sneak the battering rams around. He didn't see Hadhod, but I think he can see the battering rams. And Witch King does knock them back. He interrupts them. Which is literally your worst nightmare when it comes to Siege. There goes the uh, Rivendell heal. Um, not sure what Rivendell was healing there, though. 
These these aren't his ally, so I'm not sure what that was. Oh, hold on. Many meetings. Because I just saw the uh, Merkwood units. Okay, he was healing the many meetings. I would have saved the heal for my teammates' heroes, but that's the way it goes. Battery Rams go down predictably. Um, they actually must have got a couple of hits off because it's on half health, and the, the giant bat is doing some decent damage. Level 3 now. Regain health per hit. Does that count for structures? I can't really tell if the health was going up there. I'm gonna guess so. Anyway, Mordor holds firm. The fortress is still low. I think what you need- <gasps> What the hell? Why did Witch King pursue? Okay, Witch King is fast. So you should be able to get out there. Mithril tipped arrows now for Men of Dale. And what have we got? We got a level 7. Okay, Hadhod's back, but he hasn't leveled up yet. Um, Did Gimli die? I see Gloin and I see Hadhod, but I think we might have missed the Gimli. And what is this white blob here? Okay, that's... He's got units there. Okay. Um... Maybe Gimli did die. Maybe he died to Witch King. I didn't... I don't see him. That would be a real shame if he did, though. Anyway, Slaves of Nern coming in. 4,000. I, I swear Mordor Eco is just amazing. And in, the, in Rivendell's Hour of Need. Why? That's gonna do no damage. Why? You might as well have just flushed those goats down the toilet and you would have achieved the same result. They've just healed back the damage. You know what? That just... That, that tilted me. Watching that just fucking tilted me. Okay, um, all tier ones, that's standard. He did go with many meetings. Hey, I fucking got it right for, for a change. Nice. Alright, if he's gone with the goats, we'll go with Undermine. Undermine weakens the armor of enemy structures. I reckon... Okay, he doesn't have it, so I guess he can't do it this attack. But if he can combo that with some Guardians and Hadhod, then I would just... Uh, it would basically undo having to watch those goats do fuck all. Okay, there goes the Catapult. There goes the... That's the Men of, Day, uh, Men of Dale uh, debuff, by the way. Uh, if you put it on autocast, it does get used. Uh, this one, right here. Dalish Supremacy. That's what that little icon was. Alright, he sort of... Pulled himself into a corner there. The Wolves go in as a little distraction, just die. There's a buff for his teammate. Uh, for the dwarves, that is. He can sneak around, get this forge works. They're fighting on enemy territory here. Like, the, the, the frozen waste buffs uh, the dwarves here. Sabotage doesn't actually take out the... Uh, oh, you know what? He was... Pr he, look, he's got Morgul Sorcery with the 5k in the bank that he had. And a level 2 siege works. He was probably going to go for Grand, actually. There goes the Undermine. With only a builder in it. That's actually a bit of a shame, but it does actually have a pretty large area of effect, so all these buildings are now weakened. These archers need to destroy this troll so that these guys have some backup. Gloin is only level 2 on aggressive stance. What a fucking chad. Okay. Hadhod, level 7. Hasn't leveled up since that early rush. These cave trolls are actually getting good value. Black Rooks are holding the line. And this is actually- that actually didn't go well for the dwarves at all. I think that was just slightly mismanaged. He had the better army there. It was just slightly mismanaged. I would have actually put units in the mine for the undermine. That would have been really good. And... Yeah, he's got the Morgul Sorcery now. Thanks for the XP, boys. Alright, that one failed. Okay, Chad Hod didn't get any XP, so that was actually pretty bad. Okay. Gun double Gundabed Stone Trolls. Fully upgraded, so that's a lot of money down the toilet. Go, and there's that that's why I was mocking Gildor earlier. It was too late in the game for him to show up. And his Muzgash. What level is Muzgash? Level two. Okay, he's a new new arrival. These Gundabed Stone Trolls are very risky. I like going with the Stone Trolls or just the Mountain Giants. I feel like that's just a much safer option. And a much cheaper minus all the upgrades. Veterans of the Last Alliance. They've activated their, uh, their, what's this ability called? Siege of Oregon, so they're immune to, like, knockback and trample. And as soon as it wore off, they got knocked back. So, that, there you go. There you fucking go. They're literally getting juggled around by these Gundabad, uh, stone trolls. And, uh... There are men of Dale in there as well, so technically 2v1. Rovendell... Got a really bad bloody nodes. I think he needs to retreat that vet before he goes down. Man, look how little damage they take to something that isn't, you know, the size of a fucking building. Alright, there's the Hall of Fire. 
And he's summoning Caleb Brimbor. Which is a decent portrait of Caleb Brimbor. It's the one that makes him. Which doesn't make him look fat. And Witch King was there to aid at the very end. He might be able to swoop in and kill that Gundabed Stone Troll. Maybe that's what he's thinking here. Some nice XP. He hits the one that was on higher health. Is he going to go for the lower health one? No, he was just going for those guys. Alright, well, now you got to pull him back. Witch King may be uh, quite resilient, but his Fell Beast is not. Wait, what the hell? Does the giant bat slow? Flying units lose 70% when hit by giant bats! <gasps> no way. Okay, we're going to see if he dies, but I'm watching this. Okay, no, that attack's over. We're going back. 70% It's just going to keep stacking. Or keep procking. He's going to have to actually fight him. You're going to have to fight him. It's a giant bat. You could probably one-shot him. Come on. Come on. No? Oh, no. We're not seeing it again, are we? Gimli's back in the field. Yeah, Gloin's dead. That's his fucking dead body there. Stonehelm is out. Morgul Vanguard are out. And Chadhod again doing the flanking. He's now level 4. He sabotaged this troll there, so it can't actually recruit anything. And yeah, this is gonna hurt. Another hero is dying for Pumba. Another dwarven hero. It's almost like a Wait, what the hell? They just broke their pursuit. What the fuck? Oh, because there were some half-dead arable pikes there? Bruh. Hadhod, you are one lucky bastard. Alright, is Witch King dead? There's the bat. We're looking for a grey hero. Oh, actually... Derp, he could have just dismounted Witch King and just ran away. I don't see Witch King on the map. I don't see a grey icon. I see Mouth of... I am the king of the who asked. Uh, okay, for the record, I think Witch King actually just fucking died. I think a bat. He would have leveled up though. His XP bar did go up. Oh shit, I think this bat fucking did it, you know. That is hilarious. That's the first time I've ever seen a giant bat kill a hero. Literally has a passive to... Wait, what was that for? Why? Why do you make these decisions? Why do you waste these fucking powers? Oh man, this makes you grow old, I swear to god. Okay, Mordor's got a bread basket back here. Slaves of none. If he, if he actually gets some Easterlings now... If he actually starts getting barbed arrows and then these guys... He could actually, presumably... Uh, push these dwarves back. But by the sounds of things, he's making a lot of siege. He just wasted it again, didn't he? He just motherfucking wasted it again. You know what, I'm actually done. Okay, you know what, I think we're... You know, we've come this far. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, we'll keep going. He's 10 points away from his tier 4, which will be Caven. And that's got to be the Ruin of Angmar. And there's the uh, arrival of the Thran. He's going in again. Stonehelm, level 1. I'm curious to see how Stonehelm plays, because his AI, for me, is always fucking shit. Okay, he's on the front line. Gets two kills. No, now he gets two kills. Hadhold level 9, one away from Elagost. There goes the double buff. This one, there it is. Knocks him back, plus 50% attack speed. Gimli with his leap. Heroes leading the line. He does have catapults coming, right? Catapult turtle? No? Okay. And I think he might actually get it, because he's got Bard. And he's got, um, some Iron Hills Crossbowmen as well. African-American Ameri African Arrow find your mark. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue, but same, same, same thing. Alright, we're going to see Sabotage and Keen Eye, maybe. You just said that! Stop spamming. Okay. And this thing's going down hard. There's three Dwarven Heroes on here, plus a lot of Guardians. And there it is, boys. Had Hod's not level 10 yet. But his uh, keen eye was used. Morgul Vanguard have no no longer have a home. Now it's time now it's Mordor's time to be the uh, refugee people. Except it wasn't Smaug that displaced them, it was just a bunch of angry bearded blokes. And yeah, that's you can put that on autocast. And um 
He gets attack speed. Oh, it also increases his damage for a bit. And then at rank 3, he re he passively uh, returns damage. Okay. I think that the damage part of that is new. New-ish. And he's also got Durin's Chosen, which... Uh, it's got one of the best buttons in the game, because it's the uh, crown of Erebor, which I, which I love. Alright, he's spamming out Iron Hills. Thorin's actually protected by um, the uh, King's Guard, which I think is really fucking cool. And credit for actually getting Stonehelm before Dane. I know it's really hard to uh, make that decision, but he went with it well. Alright, here go the Noldor counterattack. His only hope of evening this game out is to take on Misty Mountains before Dwarves get to his base. But I don't think that's going to happen. Because if he, if he can even it out, then uh, yeah, it would be 1v1, but he's having to retreat. Maybe Rivendell could attack with some Revelers. People always forget that, and they're such a good unit. They're good for eco. You literally just auto-cast their eco, and then they're good for Siege as well. And we're hearing a lot of Dwarves coming into the fight. A lot of reinforcements entering the fray now. And, um, yeah, I guess, uh, I think, honestly, Mordor lost it just because Hadhod had that little, like, die-hard moment where he literally just went full rampage. Um, because, yeah, I think, like, he had trolls, but it's not like the Dwarven army was that big. So I think all those archers could have, uh, could have actually, like, countered, uh, Erebor. But, yeah, he just lost all of his, like, um... His, like, recruitment buildings, and then he was done. <laughs> Which is just a shame, really. And then he had to force his way into, like, just building elite units and then turtling. Anyway, last march of the dwarves. Here we fucking go. They've dealt with Mordor. Mordor thinks they can get that fortress. The only way they're going to get this is if Rivendell protects it now. Go forth, Black Arrow. Fuck's sake, man. Every time. There goes Undermine. With that still only has a fucking build- He's just left a builder in there. He's been playing this whole game with one builder, essentially. Fuck sake. And Gil-Galad's gonna- Oh, do respectable damage. Morgul Vanguard are still alive! How? For goodness sake, they regen so quickly. Okay, that was King Dane coming. There goes Baruch Khazan. Durin's Chosen was also proc, so these guys have plus 75% damage. Morgul Vanguard are about to get fucked by that 75% damage. There goes the heal from Gloin. Man, Morgulvan got a tanky. You see that? They just they just trampled all those buffs and then they went in. Anyway, Fortress goes in again. This time Gloin gets all the XP. Level 6 for my man. Uh, where the fuck is Big Chatters? There he is. He's on the cusp of level 10. We will see Elagost. Stonehelm is also level 6. If we can actually see him activate Stonehelm. Where he goes, duh, then, duh. No, I think he's actually going to die here. Yep, he's going to die. Never mind. Looks like we're not going to sit. That was actually a pretty badass line, but that was the best we've ever seen a, a Stonehelm function in PvP. Usually he's shit. Uh, that's just the way it be. Many meetings comes in from the from the rear. Hadhod literally just doing his own thing again. He just put him on aggressive and just let him do whatever this whole game. Level 10! Level fucking 10! Come on, Elagos summon before he dies. Come on, Elagos summon before he dies. There it is! Elagos comes with a heal. Grace of King's Foil. Nope. Chad holds like, Ayo, I summoned you. Now I'm just getting the fuck out. I, I'm a head out. Alright, there's one gun about Stone Troll left. One died, one's left. He's taking a lot of damage from the uh, Swan Feathered Arrows. <gasps> the Watcher will not, though. He'll just eat them all for breakfast. And, hey, uh, Brand, you, uh, there's a giant eagle that needs killing. Alright. Is he gonna eat anything? He's, he's enjoying picking them up. There he goes. He's gonna eat him, and... Yoink, I'll just eat that. And here comes Bolg of the North. As quickly as Noldor got their reinfor uh, got their upgrades, I think just a little bit of like a few like a few revelers. Or maybe some um Breland Bannering Rams. I think he would have had Misty Mountains. Honestly, I think he would have had them. Um, but he was just sort of going like toing and froing um with his army. Let's see how many power points I actually got him, by the way. Uh, he's in... 
Oh, wait, he went with the Sons of Elrond, which would have... Literally, Sons of Elrond, I think, is, like, one of the worst tier twos. Like, yeah, yeah, they're technically good against Orcs, but they have such little armor, they just die so easily to ranged combat. It, it's not worth the money, and it's not worth the power. It's... Yeah, I, I don't know. I would much rather... I think it would be way better if you if you just recruit them willy nilly. Maybe like a maybe like an upgrade from the fortress to let you recruit them, and exchange the tier two with someone else because I think they're I think they're dog shit honestly. But that's uh, discussion for another time, I guess. All right, King Dane is here. <clears throat> Sorry, had to clear my throat. Had hard. Does have sabotage. Rivendell's last stand is five floodgate expansions, which will actually get the job done. It won't kill heroes, but it'll do a number to this army, which. Pumbaa is graciously allowing us to see. And there it is. <laughs> there goes Sabotage. He can't recruit anything from the fortress like he was going to do that anyway. And these Morgul Vanguard. Level 6. He's actually got Morgul Sorcery on the, on the fortress. Durin is fighting to the last man. He is not letting this up. I think it's safe to say this is GG, but man... He's literally off. We had to see fucking Gloin die again, really? God damn it. Had Hod die to horses. Everyone had... <sighs> okay, you, you can't not say that Pumba doesn't make it entertaining, but what the fuck already? <laughs> we've seen Witch King die to a bat. And then we've seen Had Hod die to some horses. That's, uh... That's truly unique. And yes, Morgul Vanguard can kill King Dane because, uh... No, what are you doing? Did you really think they were gonna let him get- Okay, well there- Hey, at least he took the Builder out this time. Okay, there it is. <laughs> oh man, I swear Pumba stops my strength. It, it's, it's, it's quite remarkable, honestly. Bran just, you know, taking a piss against a tree. You know, whatever. One with nature, when nature calls and all that. Alright, is the bat going to destroy the fortress? Man, Floodgates do get the job done. I mean, they're all gone now, but they did get a lot of kills, and they did arguably save the fortress there. And I think once this fortress goes down, I'm not sure... Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's just literally... Okay. Maybe if he destroys this, I think that'll be GG for Mordor. Wait, no. What the hell? Why? Okay, we're gonna fast forward. This game's over, but he's, uh... He somehow got money. He somehow got money. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to cut to uh, when this whole shit show fucking ends and I can get on with the rest of my day. 1XD. The Noldor are actually going for the Builder kill. Some things never change. God, I love this game. Okay, uh, we'll be back. And there we have it, boys. GG. For the record, it was a giant bat. That took down the Rivenel Fortress, and Stonehelm did reach level 8. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed whatever the fuck that was. MVP, yeah, it's Big Chatters. It's Big Chatters, and it's Durin for just letting him run Riot, because that was hilarious. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. <gasps> Goodbye.